So guys, thank you for coming and joining me today. So this is uh, my new space. We have currently moved house and uh, yeah, this is the outlook I have uh, out of my dining room window. So I wanted to answer the question today, what is junk journaling in a nutshell? But before I do that, I wanted to thank the community for their for your concern for mum. Uh, she is stable and uh, I was able to support her. Uh, however, I'm not able to return to work currently because there are shortages of carers in Australia. And so if you have found uh, any of my videos uh, of value, would you uh, consider uh, giving me a like, subscribe and uh, comment and share uh, my videos uh, and hopefully in um, the new year uh, in 2024 uh, I would reach a thousand subscribers so back to the question what is junk journaling in a nutshell so I just wanted to show you when I first started this came from a newsletter from the library now in normal situation or uh, circumstances, I would have possibly read it and then just bin, put it in the bin, right? So junk journaling is basically recycling and upcycling things that you would otherwise put in the bin. This is another example. This came from a drink bottle, an orange press tropical juice. And uh, I really like that. And that actually came during the time when I visited mum, bought a drink and it ended up in my journal because I actually like the um, the logo. The other thing uh, we use is often fabric. For example, here uh, that was just offcuts and leftovers which were sitting in my cupboard, and I've decided to use that as a tie to hold my journal together. And these are fabric things that I've recycled. The other example I wanted to show you was here, this um, hand cream which I bought a few days ago and this is the packaging and I'm thinking, hmm, that will definitely end up in my journal. And so in a nutshell, that is uh, what uh, junk journaling is, recycling and upcycling. However, the definition has expanded and a lot of... Um, uh, uh, a lot of people have added elements of scrapbooking, uh, collages, uh, mixed media, um, uh, any uh, watercolor, um, any other thing uh, to make it uh, special. Uh, even buying things like stickers and uh, beautiful digital um, uh, digital. Um, embellishments and things like that to include in their journal so but in a nutshell it is definitely started it has definitely started with um, recycling and upcycling things that you would otherwise throw into the bin and so I hope this answers your question um, I'm intending to do a series of just questions um, that beginners are uh, uh, particularly beginners who are starting junk journaling, uh, not sure about uh, certain things, certain terms, I'm going to be answering these questions in the next few videos. So see you guys again. Bye.